Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the Catholic Book of Worship, which is the smaller book, number 482. 482, I has not seen. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. When pain and sorrow weigh us down, be near to us, O Lord. Forgive the weakness of our faith and bear us up within your peaceful world. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. Our lives are but a single breath. We flower and we fade. Yet all our days are in your hands. So we return in love what love has made. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this feast of St. Philip and James, the apostles, we ask their intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Tony Arcaro and Estherina Coalillo. For the times we fail to be like the apostles, faithful to the call from Jesus himself, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy. For he is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of the apostles Philip and James, grant us through their prayers a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. 
I would remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaim to you, which of you in turn received, in which you also you stood, through which also you are being saved. If you hold firmly to the message that I proclaim to you, unless you have come to believe in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the other twelve. Then Christ appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, Christ appeared also to me. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out to all the earth. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. There is no speech, nor are there words. Their voice is not heard. Yet their voice goes through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. Their message goes out through all the earth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. Philip, whoever sees me, sees the Father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the disciples, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to Jesus, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to my Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Today, Holy Mother Church gives us the feast of two of the first 12 apostles that were called by name by Jesus to come follow me. First, we have Philip. When we look at the different character traits of the apostles, each of them are very different, just like each of us are very different. Philip is a logistics guy. Lord, where are we going to find all this bread for all these people? Lord, you know, if you would just show us the Father, then faith would be so much easier. This is how Philip talks. Perhaps you can relate to Philip. Saint Philip, when inspired by the Holy Spirit, goes from Mr. Logistics to making sure that the kingdom of heaven was built and went out to one of the most distant parts of the world at that time to evangelize the gospel. When we're talking about Saint James, this is Saint James the less, not the greater. St. James the Less is the author of the epistles. So when you 
read in sacred scripture of the letter of St. James, this is the one. St. James was very interested in how the early church was to be formed, how the community was to treat one another. So you see in his letters, which I pray you all have read and prayed over, if not, Tuesday, God talk. That's why we have Bible study in the parish, right? But in the letter of James, he talks about the importance of living the teachings of Jesus, loving one another, caring for one another. If you receive the sacrament of the sick, within the sacrament, the priest says, and according to the apostle James, he has commanded, let those who are sick among you send for the priests of the church, and let the priests pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord, and the prayer of faith will, will save them, and if they have any sins, their sins will be forgiven. This is from the writings of St. James, who continues to remind us of the Holy Spirit and its movement of power as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are closely connected. My podcast episode today goes into greater depth on the two apostles, so I encourage you, if you haven't already listened to it before Mass, to do so today. Asking the Lord to assist you, to assist me, to assist us, in being more like the apostles who are called out to be missionary. We're called to be missionary in our neighborhoods, at work, at home, at school, wherever we find ourselves, so that we, like they, may tell the world of the greatness of God. With faith that God desires only our good deeds, we come to him with our petitions. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church, for the Pope, for all bishops, especially our own Gerard Burgi, that they may be blessed with all good graces and faithfully living out their missionary call received from the apostles, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that Jesus may guide the minds and hearts of leaders in promoting the dignity and sanctity of all human life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, that more men and women may be like Philip and James and follow the call of Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are despairing, that they may receive the grace of the Holy Spirit and find hope in the risen Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our faith community of St. Joseph, May the good soil that bears good fruit after hearing the word of God lead us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are sick, especially those who have no one to pray for them, that Jesus, the divine physician, may heal them and set them free, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Nonatoni and Esterina, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they soon see the Father face to face in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts. Loving God, you sent your Son to show us the way to you. Hear and answer our prayers. We ask them through Christ our Lord. Saints Philip and James, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring on the feast day of the apostles Philip and James, and bestow on us religion that is pure and undefiled through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that they may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saints Philip and James, who feast day we celebrate today, with St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, 
Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Gerard our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family which you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, we remember especially in Anatoni and Estherina, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take, excuse me, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present 
in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O Lord, by these holy gifts we have received, so that contemplating you and your Son, together with the apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, 
the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Friendly reminder again, Mass on Friday is at the high school at 820. You are all welcome. There is no Mass here in the church Friday. I has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. To those who see with eyes of faith, the Lord is ever near. Reflected in the faces of all the poor and lowly of the world. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, Come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. We sing a mystery from the past in halls where saints have trod, yet ever new the music rings to Jesus' living song of God. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. God bless you. Have a good day.